Hey, this is Terra Toots with a quick tutorial on creating a hurricane or typhoon in TerraGen 4, which can be a really cool effect for an orbital shot. There are a few different ways to do this in TerraGen. Some of the most iconic TerraGen storm images use a high resolution image map to mask the clouds into a storm shape. Today, however, we'll be going over a method for doing this procedurally using the vortex shader. The first thing we're going to want to do is to put down a layer of cumulus clouds. Now you can either use version 2 or version 3 clouds here, depending on what you're after. The version 3 clouds do add quite a bit to your render time, so you might experiment with version 2 if that's an issue for you. First off, we'll raise these clouds up a bit, and increase their depth. Then increase the radius to get a big circle here. We'll reduce the falloff to make the edge stronger, and increase the edge sharpness. Finally, we'll decrease the cloud density a bit, and increase the coverage. These are all settings you can play with and tweak as you go along. Let's zoom out so we can see what we're working with. We'll also switch over to the ray traced preview and bring the lighting down to bring out the details. Now, we can immediately start moving toward a basic hurricane shape just by adding a vortex warp shader node after the cloud's built-in density fractal. The combination of the vortex radius and the vorticity is going to control how many arms our storm has and how widely spread they are. I'm going to go with 100,000 and 0 0.8. Next, we'll use a simple shape shader To add some density to the center of the storm, I'm going to set this to a circle with a size of 150 kilometers and a smooth step edge profile of 50%. We'll give the edges of the storm center some randomness with a fractal warp shader, and then add it to the cloud's density fractal. You can see the effect of the addition in the 2D node preview. Now we need to create the eye of the hurricane. We'll do this with another simple shape shader. Set to 14 kilometers. with a smooth step edge of 35%. Notice that we're going to need to increase the white value here, so it punches all the way through the added density. Once again, this is passed through a fractal warp shader for some roughness. And this time we'll subtract the shape from the density fractal. which will give us our final hurricane shape. And there you have it, a basic hurricane. There's a lot you can do from here, from adding additional cloud layers, to experimenting with altitude and depth modulation on the existing layer, and experimenting with different scales. Complement this with a global cloud layer, and you've got an orbital view of a whirling hurricane. 